Better late than never. Workmen were mending the viaduct on the main line. The arches needed to be strengthened, but the fat controller did not want to close the railway while the work was done, and so repairs took a long time. The engines had to take great care when crossing the viaduct, and the delay often made them late at the junction. Thomas was cross. Time's time, he grumbled. Why should I keep my passengers waiting while Henry and James dawdle about all day on viaducts? Don't blame me, snorted Henry one day. If we hurried across the viaduct, it might collapse, and then you'd have no passengers at all. What would you do then, eh? Run my trains on time for one thing, retorted Thomas, and he hurried away before Henry could answer. At the top station, Bertie was timed to arrive just after Thomas. His passengers soon found that instead of going straight from Bertie to their train, they were having to wait until Thomas arrived. Late again, remarked Bertie one day, as Thomas panted wearily in, ten minutes after time. I thought you could go fast, Thomas. It's time we had another race. I reckon I could beat you now. Thomas went bluer than ever and let off steam loudly. Rubbish! He hissed fiercely. I'd still beat you any day. It's those mainline engines. They dither about on their viaducts and then blame, blame the fat controller's workmen. It's just an excuse for laziness if you ask me. One day James was later than ever at the junction. I'm sorry Thomas, he panted as he came breathlessly to the platform. I was held up at the big station and the viaduct made it worse. It's lucky for you I'm a guaranteed connection, snorted Thomas. He puffed importantly away, leaving James at a loss for words. Peep, peep, whistled Thomas at every station. Get in quickly, please. The passengers did their best, but Thomas soon found that he couldn't save much time. As they neared the tunnel, Thomas thought he saw a flash of red on the road beside the line. That looks like Bertie, he said to himself. But Bertie should have got to Farquhar ages ago. It was Bertie. Thomas stopped nearby and asked what the matter was. I feel dreadful, mourned Bertie, all upset inside, and driver says he can't make me better. Thank goodness you're late. Can you take my passengers, please? They'll never get home otherwise. Of course, agreed Thomas. Thankfully, the passengers climbed into Annie and Clarabelle, and after promising Bertie that he would send for help from the next station, Thomas set off again. Already he was feeling much more cheerful. All the passengers reached home safely, and when Bertie was better, he came to thank Thomas. I'm sorry I teased you about being late, he said. That's all right, said Thomas. I'm glad I could help. Perhaps being late isn't such a bad thing after all.